We're wrapping up this most recent year of crafty fun. And today I'm going to share with you my top 10 favorite card projects of the past 12 months. These aren't really based on anything other than the ones that I liked the most, the ones that I had the most fun creating, or just the finished results were awesome. I don't know if any of yours made the cut, fingers crossed, but to see the top 10 on my list, stick around. That video is coming up next. Card number 10. The first card on the list is such a simple design, but that is what I love so much, especially when you have something large like the stamp set I used. I stamped one image, I embossed in gold, and then just did a very simple rainbow blend with three colors across the leaves. And initially I was going to make a whole big to-do and get all fancy, and then I saw this and I thought, no, no, this is what we're doing. We're keeping it simple. So I die cut this singular leaf, ran it through the machine and had this very simple design almost done. Popped on a sentiment strip, added a few sequins and this card, card number 10, done and done. For card nine, I have a Halloween shaker. There always has to be a little Halloween on my list. And this year, I loved this Argyle stencil and the little ghost shaker from Pretty Pink Posh. Now this Argyle stencil could really be used for anything, just change up the colors, right? I used the classic Halloween triad. I put on a little bit of black spatter and then I cut my panel, added the acetate and inlaid my little ghost frame. For the background of the shaker, I made a simple purple blend and then added in the shaker fill with the little ghosts and the little black and white bits and bobs. So cute. I glued this on to a purple note card and then added on my Your Spooktacular sentiment strip. And this Halloween card is done and shaken good. For card number eight, this card was a really well-received clip on YouTube. A lot of people really liked this. And I think it's because of the non-traditional colors that I picked out for the card. It felt very fresh and very different. And I got to play with my paper pouncers just to add on some of these really happy colors. Very cool product. I, I think I wanna get more into pouncing in 2024. You know, you gotta have goals. You gotta have goals and that's one of mine. But for this card, I used the little outline of the cover plate to help me place in all of the trees so that they, they would perfectly line up on my panel. A little bit of the foam tape in place and voila, you pop it out and there's your trees. Love the colors, love the simple greeting and a little bit of sequin shine and boop and goodness for good measure. Card seven was one of my Never Have I Ever series videos. And this was the first time I'd ever used action wobbles on a project. So I knew I wanted to have these cute little critters and I decided to test out two things. One colored pencils and Gamsol. And then I also did one with Copic markers. I don't use my Gamsol and colored pencils very often but I ended up going with that particular koala because I just thought the blend was softer and prettier. I created a little grounding pattern of hearts. I had a fun little greeting, quality time, get it, quality, yeah. Popped that little friend down and then added two little sentiment strips to fill out the full greeting. Some silver sequins were placed and look at that. I've never done it. It was a blast and I'm going to have to try this technique again. Card number six was all about the new colors from Concord and Ninth that were released in 2023, but I loved the new color palettes mixed in with some of the older colors as well. And I built a classic paper strip background. This is such a fun idea for any background that you want to, you know, use up some of your scraps or just pretty strips of cardstock. Love the big heart. Then I took some coordinating Concord and Ninth ink, splattered it right onto the panel, popped that big heart on, and then trimmed off just that little point at the bottom and 
popped on that Take Care. That die set with words and shadows is so fun. So many useful greetings in there. And then silver pearls to finish this out. And my little Take Care card was done and the palette made me so happy. Card number five was my favorite shaker of the year, probably because of the recipient, my darling daughter, Aiden. But I had these large dies from My Favorite Things, and I cut a whole heck of a lot of layers, right? And acetate, which is a little tricky, a little tricky to get those out. But all you do is you build up the outline layers so that you have enough depth so that you can add a shaker fill, which is what I did. Now I found a really tiny little shaker fill and it worked really well because this is not a big space to fill. So you don't want too much in there so it gets jammed, but just enough, right? To give that little bit of movement. And once you've got your fill in, you add your liquid adhesive, place the acetate layer on top, which I cut with the shadow layer of this particular die set and top it with one more layer of the outline. And that's your shaker. I ink blended a panel just to get a little tone on tone look to some pink cardstock. Isn't that cute? And then just mounted that onto a note card, lined up the 27. And it took me a while to come up with my greeting, but in the end, I just used a sentiment strip that says we love you so much. I added a few pink hearts and that card was done and I can vouch for it. She, she liked it, at least that's what she said. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. Card number four was just a gorgeous set of products designed by my friend Carissa Wiley for Spellbinders. And I absolutely loved the cluster of balloons. So it involved quite a few things, right? We have some foiling. So I hot foiled these outlines onto some cardstock. And then it was time to die cut and ink blend. So the stencil that comes with this is gorgeous and it lets you layer in all of these different patterns and details and it has masks included, which make it easy as well. And then I had this beautiful trio of balloons together. Just so simple. I love that big round circular shape. And that was my balloon trio in you know my favorite combo, which is pink, orange, and yellow together. Love it. I ended up doing an eat cake. That was my greeting I did off camera and then finished this off with some gold pearls. I did another card for this video, but this one was my favorite. It's so clean and simple. Well, I mean, it took a while to get there, but the results, that is totally my kind of card. Card number three featured a gorgeous set of dies from Gina K Designs. These leaves were part of a kit originally, and what I decided to do was ink blend three different background areas so that I could take the shadow layer for each of the leaves and cut them out to create these beautiful autumnal colors for the background. Aren't those pretty? just very simple blended into each other. Then I took matte gold cardstock to cut out the detail layer and I just popped one layer of gold on each of the leaves and look at how pretty that is. I knew I wanted to keep it simple so I grabbed one of the greetings from one of Gina's stamp sets and I'm going to stamp this with clear embossing ink and then add some gold powder just to reinforce the gold theme that's going on. Very, very simple. Once that was melted, I decided to spatter on a little aqua pigment, which is one of my favorite discoveries from 2023 from Brutus Monroe. And I mounted that right onto a white note card after trimming the panel down. Oh, and that is the finished card project. So much shine, so simple. It just made me so happy. Love that trio of dies. Card number two featured some really fun products from My Favorite Things, Stamps and Dies. There was a letter board and a little alpha set. And because I made this in October, fall makes me think of one thing and one thing only, and that is the Twilight movie series. 
I also was just getting to know my new die cutting machine, the Anna Griffin Impress. So I cut out a bunch of letters and an extra set just in case I needed them. I used some matte silver cardstock just to create the frame for my letter board and I glued them on while this was all mounted onto a white note card. Now this is really great because it's all lined up for you, right? You have the lines and all you have to do is figure out what you want to say. It can say anything that you like and that is what is so great about a mini alpha set. So for me, nothing says fall like a twilight marathon. And I knew this card, this is going to my daughter. So I got everything lined up, glued them all into place with liquid glue. And then I cut out a bunch of leaves and ink blended onto them just for a little dimension. I really had this grand vision of having lots of leaves doing lots of things. And instead I just went with three in the end. And that is the finished card project. And I can vouch for my daughter, she loves it. And now for my number one card, my favorite of the year, this beautiful Peace on Earth card featuring some pointed evergreens from Simon Says Stamp and this stamp set. Now, initially I wanted to feature the stamp set more than the dies that I was using because both of these die sets are older. But you know what? Sometimes you just have to pull out those older dies to create the magic. I love ink smushing. The thing that's so cool about it is you are never going to get the same results twice, right? You can smush, add your color, and as you'll see in a minute, I did two panels using the exact same colors and both looked completely different. I mean, yes, they had common colors, but it really depends on how many times you come in to pick up that color, how much water you have. It's just a really fun way to create layered color for any background. I dried the panels in between, but look at the two, one on the left and one on the right. And that is the difference with more water or less. So I spattered on some water for reaction and glued my die cuts together. And then I added white paint. This is acrylic paint to create the look of snow on both the trees and the other panel. I stamped and embossed my greetings in silver and then placed my trio of trees onto that gorgeous panel and added my greetings. Now, even though this was a two card video, the one on my left was my favorite. I just, I just love it so much. And the funny thing is, when I did my top 10 from last year, turns out I ended up making my number one card last year a card featuring the exact same die. It goes to show some dies are just favorites. I just wanted to thank you so much for being part of my YouTube community and for being here this past year. Because of you, my channel has grown. All of your comments and your likes and your shares have helped me in so many ways to continue to be able to do this for my full-time job. I don't take any of my subscribers for granted, so thank you for being here. I truly appreciate you. And here's to another year of making good crafty fun.